my name is Lorenzo Dantiga. I'm a pediatrician and the head of the pediatric unit at the Papa Giovanni XXIII Hospital in Bergamo. Krieger-Najjar syndrome is an inherited disease of the liver um, that makes the liver unable to eliminate bilirubin. Patients who do not have this capacity are jaundiced, are yellow, because bilirubin remains in blood. And bilirubin is very toxic. At, especially at high levels for the brain and can cause uh, uh, injury to the brain if it is not controlled. The only way to uh, control bilirubin is uh, uh, getting exposed to UV lamps. Uh, um, and UV lamps can break down bilirubin and make it, uh, uh, you know, in a way that can be eliminated. So these patients have to sleep all night for 10-12 hours under UV lamps to control this jaundice. Clinical trials started in France in 2018. The first patient was treated at that time with a lower dose of this treatment. A second patient was treated in the Netherlands with the same low dose. In Bergamo, we treated three patients with a higher dose, and we started with the first of these three in November 2020. I have treated three young ladies uh, of an age between 20 and 30 years uh, from different parts of Italy. And this has been done over about six months, from November 2020 to June 2021. So these patients have already some months of follow-up. After a couple of months from the treatment of the second patient, we presented the results of the study at the International Liver Congress of the European Association for the Study of the Liver. Uh, the study showed that bilirubin in these patients were, was decreasing remarkably. The patients were not yellow anymore and uh, they have did not experience any toxic effect. Therefore, uh, this was, uh, I should say, acknowledged as uh, one of the best presentations of the meeting. The response to the treatment is very fast. After only 10 days from the injection, these patients start to see a decrease in bilirubin in blood, and by one month, the bilirubin is down to nearly normal levels. And this is really incredible for these patients who have been jaundiced for all their life. The first improvement you see, which is really incredible, is the patient losing completely this yellow color of the skin. They cannot believe when they watch at the mirror themselves, they, they see they're not jaundiced anymore. And so that is very clear. Obviously, in the blood test, we see that the levels of bilirubin come down very, very deeply, and they become nearly normal, which is, in a, in a way, a level that uh, is not going to make any danger in terms of uh, brain toxicity. What we cannot say at the moment is for how long this treatment can last, but certainly this treatment has shown to be very effective at the higher dose. After this treatment, these patients clearly don't need to be exposed to the lungs and don't need a liver transplantation either. So this is a big change in terms of quality of life, but also hope for the future. I believe gene therapy has become a, really a revolution in the field of genetic liver disease and also in other fields. After many, many years of research, finally, we are finding uh, uh, treatments that can uh, really uh, give a real benefit to the patients. Geneton has dedicated most of, uh, of its effort to gene therapy in different fields. And uh, I believe uh, has had uh, a very important role in this trial and in starting also the new field of gene therapy in liver disorders. Mm -hmm.